Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. Um, I just uploaded a video on how to uh, write zip codes in, how to find zip codes in Israel using Doha Israel's handy lookup tool. And just regarding the whole topic of uh, sending mail in Israel, there's one more thing I wanted to cover uh, that if you're just brand new to Israel, this might be confusing you, how to write your apartment number um, in Israel because most people here are living in apartments in cities. Um, so there are a couple of conventions. Now, I find this comment on a Reddit thread in the Israel subreddit, and uh, this guy, Schnutzel, uh, it goes back through his received mail and identifies a few different conventions. I'm just gonna talk through them for people unfamiliar. So um, firstly, if you are writing mail from abroad to your relative in Israel, etc., then uh, you can write mail labels in Hebrew. I know that might sound uh, stupid that some people would wonder, is it possible? You know, is English is not an official uh, language. Somehow it is possible. I guess the post people must have to know English. Um, so Daniel Rosal, Ben Gurion, thirteen apartment five. So if you do this, uh, and I just did a video on how to find someone's zip code, uh, denoted here by SF SF SF, then uh, that should do the job. That should get to your recipient. Now, what if you're signing up for Wold or Ten Bees, or you are uh, buying something online? from an Israeli e-commerce website you found through uh, Zap. So these things do exist. So in that case, uh, here are the ways uh, you can denote um, your address. So this guy shows one that I haven't actually seen before in practical life, and that is uh, abbreviating Dira apartment as Dalit. So you can see here it's Ben Gurion Shloshim uh, Dira Sheish Esrei Tel Aviv Yafo zip code. Um, but this is one that I have seen all the time. So it's your name, Ben Gurion Shloshim Al Sheshesrei. That's how it's written uh, in Hebrew. So, and this is where I say it's confusing because uh, Hebrew is read from right to left. But the way you read this, it's obviously more logical to do building than apartment. So you have to you actually read the number left to right. And because mixing Hebrew and English when you're typing is a disaster. Uh, this can be uh, by a T, this can be problematic. Nevertheless, it can be done. So just to be aware of this is how this thing is read and this is how it read, it, it works. Ben Gurion Shloshim Al Sheshesrei. So that does not mean Ben Gurion 16 apartment 30, it means Ben Gurion 30 apartment 16. So let's go back to my example here. So it would be Daniel Rosil. Uh, and for some reason, Israelis always pronounce my name Rosen Hill for reasons that are unclear to me still, or uh, Ruchil got all kinds of interesting permutations. Ben Gurion, I probably spelled Ben Gurion wrong, Shloshim Al Chamesh. Um, now, you may notice that that's actually, uh, no, that's actually fine. Uh, but if I did it the other way around, it would be problematic if I did five slash 30. So that's Ben Gurion Shloshim slash five. Tel Aviv, Yafo, and then your zip code. So that's basically it. Um, as this guy says, you can also do, I, I'm sure if you wrote Dira, it would work too. I actually prefer this approach because it's less ambiguous. Ben, Gurion, Shloshim, Dira, Chamesh. Or you could do Ben, Gurion, Shloshim. And as he recommends, uh, Dalit, I'm trying to find this key in Hebrew. There we go. Dira, Chamesh. So all those would work. Uh, but the most common one you will see is really this uh, slash thing in my experience. And that's just how uh, Israelis um, denote addresses that have a, a building number and an apartment number. Hope that video was useful. Thank you for watching.